Hello guys, sorry about that, I just lost some of the video. So you can see we're starting here, I'll kind of re <laughs> rephrase what I said. So part of this was, you know, it was kind of, don't look at that. I mean, when you just look at this part, right, it's very gray. We just used our pencil, but because of the way the kind of these lines are lapping on top of each other, we can actually still make it really colorful. So <clears throat> what I already did, sorry, was already started working on it. And I kind of made the comment that, I wouldn't want to ink, like use our pen to kind of highlight the colors. Because honestly, I kind of like how um, they're kind of blending into the gray. And actually what I'm going to do, this is going to be the tricky part. I'm actually going to erase that line because I kind of see there, right? It sticks out, not horribly. But I kind of want to see what it looks like when we kind of do here. So we have to remember where we erased, right? So it was this way. So I'm going to fill this kind of space in because this is a long one to begin with. So I don't want to like forget. And the cool thing is we'll kind of be able to judge how it looks by comparing kind of this piece because you'll see that line pop out compared to right here and then we can kind of move what I'm going to do is I'm going to purposefully go to about here and kind of just stop go to about there go up okay now I'm going to pause for a second kind of bring it in I still really can't decide, right? Does it look better with, without? It looks nice, but we don't know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop, keep this pencil handy. I'm gonna jump to this color. Now the same issue is gonna be here and here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go close enough to touch. Yeah, and I like it. So I'm just going to be very careful. I'm going to kind of color as I go in terms of when I erase, because this way I'm going to leave that for right now. And I'm going to kind of get up here. So it'll be most done. So that way when I, I'll use the, let the color, right, be the border. So the same thing here. I'm not going to erase that just yet, but I'm going to keep the pencil Where's the uh, get it in camera? These pencil colors right close and handy so that way when I need them I can do it. So I'm ready. I got my red here, so I'm gonna erase. And so I feel like with this one, right, which I tend not to do a lot of, right, is I'm very much doing a lot of stopping, go, stop, go, stop, go. And and in terms of kind of style preference, right, because that's what a lot of this like art comes down to, right? It's kind of what you like. So I enjoy kind of doing the stop and go, but I also just kind of like being able to blanket it, right? So I'm going to not do that corner because I want to kind of keep my, my rules, but I can go back, right? Color in up to there. So now I know I'm done with that color. done with that color Oop. but then I realized as I was like ooh look at me I'm look at me go I realized that I shouldn't put everything away because then I'm not gonna be able to keep track of what colors I'm actually using 
Okay, so we're going to use this guy next. And again, right, you don't, I'm using tons of different colors. You do not have to. You can use like two or three colors, your favorite colors. So really just kind of make it shine. I'm going to put it this way. We need one more color. What will it be? Let's use a... Earthy color. Not quite brown. Not quite red. And you can see right now... I'm kind of going very light over it. So it was very dark here, right? And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to put a little more pressure because I want it to match. But you kind of see, right, how you really need to work, be able to kind of exert, right, that equal kind of force. Because otherwise, right, the, you can kind of get different colors from your pencil, right? And even your regular school pencil, too which is what kind of makes pencil drawings, right? So beautiful is kind of like what you're able to do with one color, right? One simple color and just being able to shade, right? That's kind of awesome. I don't know. I think it's awesome. But it's just something to think about, right? And go back in, right? Make it a little bit darker, kind of even it out. And you see, right, to kind of make sure it doesn't seem like there's a stop there, I kind of blend it, right? So that would be the fancy word for saying you're blending something. And it's just a very quirky randomness. I actually really like this. It's just kind of cool. Um, but that is it for today. We're going to keep adding these as we go, guys. And we'll keep going back through everything, okay, our catalog. Have a good one. Bye.